You guys totally can't tell from this far away, but my earrings today are white marble gold pineapples. Is there anything that better describes me? I guess if they were copper, they would be better, but um, yeah, they're so cute. I'm obsessed. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really pumped for today's video because not only is it a back to school video, but it's a back to school collab. And we're also decorating a bunch of school supplies to make it look a little bit cuter. And those are kind of like all my favorite things. So I'm really pumped for this video. So this video is a collab with my really good friends Danielle, Molly, and Brittany. I love all of them to pieces and we all got to hang out at BeautyCon LA. It was so much fun and I just love these girls and I love their content so much. So I really hope you guys enjoy their videos, but here's a few clips from them. What's up guys? I'm Danielle. Nice to meet you. Also known as Danielle Marie here on YouTube and on my channel I'm going to be doing back to school outfits videos. I had so much fun filming for you guys, so make sure to check it out. I'm sure she'll have the link down below and yeah, subscribe while you're at it. Hi guys, what's up? My name's Molly. On my channel, I'm gonna be showing you some super simple back to school breakfast recipes that are all vegan. So after you watch this video, definitely make sure to go watch mine. What's up guys, I'm Brittany. In my video, I will be doing a drugstore makeup tutorial as well as a hair and outfit idea for back to school. Once you're done watching my video, definitely go over and check out everyone's videos, subscribe to their channel, leave a nice comment, do a good thing because I would really appreciate it. And in this video, we are also giving away a pair of friends headphones for back to school. So all the details for that will be in the description box below. All you'll have to do is just click the link and then follow all the rules. Super easy. I don't know when it's going to like end or anything, but all the details will be down below. And if you're new to my channel, this is the first time you're seeing my face. I will have my subscribe button right here. But I also did want to mention that I have a few other giveaways happening on my channel right now. I'm giving away a Keurig with Tana and Brittany and I'm also doing my own back to school giveaway of school supplies and stuff on my Instagram. So definitely check out all those things if you want to and if you are new to my channel, hi, it's nice to meet you. I hope you like what you see and you want to subscribe after you're done watching the video. I would love it if you did and you could stick around for more fun future videos. So yeah, I think that's enough rambling. Let's go ahead and jump into the DIY school supplies. So our first DIY for this video is going to be some file folders and I got inspiration from these from Pinterest and if you guys aren't following me on Pinterest I'll have mine linked down below but that is honestly where I get all my office and organization inspiration. I usually end up repinning a ton of desk pictures just because those are like my favorite things to look at ever and I'm actually redoing my desk or office space right now so if you guys want to see that in a video give this video a thumbs up because I think that'd be a fun like upgrade my space type video that I want to do. Moving on to the actual DIY now, I started off with a purple file folder that I got from Target and my copper contact paper and the contact paper actually has grid paper on the back so I used that to cut a strip off and then cut each square of those into two triangles. After that all you have to do is really peel off the back of the contact paper and stick it down and this is kind of tedious so definitely do this while you're watching a TV show or something and I used another file folder just to get my lines even and I kind of just went with this you know, basic pattern, but I thought it turned out cute and I really like the reflectiveness of it. For the second file folder, I'm using some grid paper and just using a actual file folder, this one is blue, to trace that out so I have the right size and the right length. And then I'm just taking some Mod Podge and applying that to the file folder directly and then I'm placing the grid paper on top and smoothing it out with my hands. While I was letting that dry, I went ahead and cut myself a piece of the contact paper using the grid on the back side just to make it the thickness that I wanted and then stuck that between the grid and the actual file folder just as a little bit more of a design and to make it match the previous file folder. But yeah, that's all I did and then I just cut off the excess with an X-Acto knife. And you can totally use this grid paper to write whatever subject you're using this file folder on. I think it's really cute and I really like the way that one turned out. And the last two, I'm just taking some copper paint and doing my own design. So this one, I'm just doing basic brush strokes with a kind of like sparse brush, if that makes sense, just so it has a really sparse look. And then on this one, I'm just doing a heart because I thought it was cute and I love copper. You guys know I'm obsessed. So those are all my DIY file folders. I really love the way they turned out and feel free to doodle on them like I did for this one. You can pretty much label them however you guys like. Be really creative with them. I just think this is a really fun idea and it's a good way to stay organized. Moving on to some DIY notebooks, I think it is so smart to just buy a basic notebook and spruce it up yourself. My friend Michaela actually tweeted me the link to this first notebook to include in a video and I saw it on Pinterest a bunch as well as Nastasia from Laguna Beach Love 10 included this in a recent video and it turned out amazing so I wanted to try it out for myself. 
All you're going to need for this DIY is a basic notebook, some marble contact paper, and some copper contact paper, and I got mine all off Amazon, so I'll have links down below if you guys are curious and want to go check it out. The steps for this are really easy, so you're going to want to start by flipping your notebook on its back and outlining it with a pencil and then cutting it out with an X-Acto knife of the marble contact paper, taking the back off, sticking that down onto the notebook, and then cutting a piece of the copper contact paper and placing that over the binding of the notebook and just smoothing it out, you know. Follow the grid lines on the back of the contact paper, that's why they're there, and then just cut off the excess with an X-Acto knife. I absolutely love the way this one turned out, I think it is so chic and so trendy, and if you have this when you go back to school, people are going to be jealous, 100%. Another DIY notebook option for you guys is a simple one using washi tape and just other materials. So the first thing I'm doing is taking my basic notebook and covering up the ugly label with a square of grid paper using some Mod Podge. And when you're pressing that down, just make sure you smooth it all out so you don't have any bubbles. And then just go ahead and let that dry for a few minutes. It doesn't take very long at all. And then I'm just taking some washi tape and kind of placing that around the binding and then around the corners of the grid paper just to make it a little more cute and metallic. I know I've been using washi tape in like all of my recent videos, but it's just because it's one of my favorite things to use to decorate and I really like the way this one turned out. I think it's really personalized, but also just like really cute and simple and the grid paper is perfect for putting your subject on as well. Moving on to something that you guys can place in your locker or if you're in college, put on your fridge. I just think that these are really fun, cute DIY to help you guys stay organized this school year. So I'm starting off with three paper clips. Paper clips? These are not paper clips. These are C47s, which are also clothespins. They're clothespins. So I'm just taking the clothespins and painting them with a purple paint. Obviously, I love purple, so yeah, I'm just giving them a good coat of that, not bothering with two, just enough to make it a little opaque. And then I'm just taking this cork board that I got at the dollar store and cutting it into kind of rectangular shapes, and then with a Sharpie marker writing tomorrow, remember, and today on them. I'm doing all this while the paint is drying, and then I'm also taking an old magnet and cutting it into strips, just because we are going to be hot gluing these onto the back of the paper clip. Paper clip, oh my god, the clothespin once it's dry. So yeah, go ahead and use your hot glue gun, stick that down, let it dry, and then on the front, just go ahead and place the little sign, and then you can put sticky notes at the bottom, and these are perfect for in your locker or on your fridge, like I mentioned. It can be really hard to keep track of what you're doing each day when you're in high school and stuff. I know it can be super busy, so I just think that these are a really fun little idea that you can use to help you stay a little bit more organized, and I definitely wish I had these when I was in school. And our final DIY for this video is again something that would be good in your locker or even on your desk at home and we are going to be making a pencil holder. So all you're going to need is a tin can, washed out, rinsed out, you know, clean tin can, and some marble contact paper. So all you have to do is kind of wrap the contact paper around the top, mark it off how high it is and how like long you want the paper to be if that makes sense, and then just go ahead and cut it on the back and then stick it down. There you go, you got a cup holder that's made of marble. Well, not really, but it's a cute alternative, and I really like this one. I think it's so cute to keep your pens and pencils in something, you know, that matches your room or matches your locker, so I like this one, and I hope you guys do too. So that's pretty much all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up so more people can find this video and my channel, because we are so, so close to 200,000. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't even touch on that. It's blowing my mind. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys are too, because that's insane. But yeah, definitely subscribe before you leave if you'd like to, and definitely check out all the other girls' videos, because they're gonna be amazing, and enter the giveaway. And good luck with that, and I will see you lovely people in my next video. Have a great day, bye.